So here's a look at the um, settings menu of the iCam HD. The eye sensor is also very similar to this. Um, the first page here is alert, alert detection. Privacy mode will allow you to enable the camera to shut off completely, mute the audio, uh, stop the video stream, and the camera, as you can see, will turn to the back. If you turn that off, it will return. This is motion sensor on and off, audio sensor on and off, and the audio sensitivity. You can set a different sensitivity. And finally, you can choose to have the alerts send you just a text message or a text and a snapshot. If we go to the next page, this handles all the recording. You can turn the recording on or off here. Choose what resolution you want to record at. Here's the status and here's the SD card that is in the back. Here's your Google Drive upload page. Your upload mode, disable, continuous, or only if the audio or motion is triggered, it will start to record. You press this if you want to change the account or if there isn't one, you can add one through there. And here's the status bar that shows you how much uh, memory you have left. And also you can set the visibility to public or private allowing those who have access to the Google Drive to view it or not. Here's the sound settings. You have microphone and speaker volume and the two-way audio. The two-way audio you can also enable or disable while you're making a live call. And the miscellaneous page, night vision, will, will um, turn off the IR LEDs. Time zone for the time stamps, which are here. You can have a timestamp on the recorded video as well as the snapshot. Backlight compensation if you're in a, a darker area and you want to have better resolution. And then here you can reset the device. This is the Wi-Fi list. So you can add up to, I think, four different Wi-Fi AP routers. Um, so if you're taking the iCam to many different places, you can save them there and you don't have to find them every time. And finally, this is just about the iCam. It shows the firmware and app version, the display name. You can change this, um, the, the ID of the camera. And this is so you can allow others to have control of the camera. So if you want to allow your wife or your parents or even friends to control the camera and the settings, you can, you can let them scan the QR code here. And then finally, just some of the um, technical stuff about the camera and your IP address. So that's the apps uh, setting page of the iCam HD 360 and iSensor HD app. Now if we go back to the home screen, you can see this gear here is the settings. That'll take you to where we just were. This up here is the play button. This button will show you all of the uh, events that occurred, whether it's motion or audio detection and all your snapshots. This is the digital user's manual. Press this and the camera will take a snapshot and put that snapshot as this picture here you find in the circle. So if you have multiple cameras around the house, you can take a picture of whatever room it's in and know exactly which camera is where. This will take you to the MP3 player and the playlist function. This will take you to your Google Drive stored videos. This is also to add a new router if you want. This is add a new camera or allow someone to gain access of the camera. And finally, the question mark just tells you what I basically just covered. So that's the iCam HD 360 app. Thanks for watching.